There is some good news finally coming towards gamers. But don't be fooled by some of the headlines out there, as today we're going to talk about why we as gamers should collectively wait even longer until those prices come down to levels that reflect what Nvidia and AMD promised us during their fancy presentations nearly a year ago. Do you feel like this when you see this? Well, if so, you can get rid of that Windows activation message with today's video sponsor, SCD Keys, for as little as $12 USD. After you use that coupon, BFTYC, you can get activated today. Links in the description below. So the first piece of big news that we're gonna talk about here is that supply shortage, which is being run around a lot of headlines that I'm reading in tech websites. And upon digging into Nvidia's own quarterly financial report, we can see that their margins have roughly stayed the same at around 65%. This means that they have made roughly the same amount of profit on items sold that they did this time last year. However, the revenue was up a staggering 84%, from a year earlier. In fact, the gaming revenue was up 106%. That is, Nvidia made over double the money selling graphics cards from the start of January through to the end of March in 2021 versus the same period in 2020. Where if we take that same level of margin and subtract it from the revenue growth, it means that graphics card sales, and more importantly, the supply of those graphics cards, would have been up roughly double, all else considered. There's more to it than that, but overall, the supply was up quite a lot. So there is the proof that we all knew all along, and that is that the crypto miners took a lot of these cards out of the market. Now the irony of this is that China is starting to just completely ban mining altogether. They've even taken it a step further by starting to ban cryptocurrency transactions and crack down hard on any financial institutions dealing with such tokens. And according to the University of Cambridge, China, before this crackdown, accounted for roughly a whopping 65% of all Bitcoin hashing power. Or in other words, China was responsible for 65% of all Bitcoin mining. So if we take that number of 65% and apply it to the GPU mining, then we can easily see that China is a massive player in the purchasing of GPUs for cryptocurrency mining. And in fact, according to some reports, the GPU flood in China has already started, with one user reporting seeing RTX 3060s for as little as $270. Though upon checking Taobao, personally, I can still see that the prices of GPUs are significantly higher than MSRP. A 3060 Ti, for example, is fetching about 650 USD. That's still over 60% higher than its promised 399 MSRP. However, here is where we can see the crossroads. That is the point of inflection, as we have record supply of GPUs being produced, as well as in China miners not being able to purchase them, leaves the gamers as the only option left to purchase. More so, a lot of the cards coming out into the market now have what is known as a low hash rate limiter embedded into the card. And this has already caught out some clueless miners purchasing RTX 3060s on the pretense that they could get the developer driver and they'd be milking that cow harder than ever. Only Nvidia quietly released a V2 of the RTX 3060, which is if you use the developer driver for that particular card, then it wouldn't matter. The card would still only mine Ethereum at half the rate. So this simply tells me that a lot of people getting into cryptocurrency to this date are still not doing enough research or paying their due diligence. And it's quite ironic when it comes to purchasing a TV, a camera, a smartphone, or even something like an internet plan, people will spend countless hours researching these things to get the best deal. Yet when it comes to crypto, they'll just throw their money in hoping that it will go up just like it has gone up in the previous year. But in my opinion, as we watch crypto and going forward, I feel like in the coming months, those avenues will get exhausted and the profitability will yet again sink. The next part of the equation is going to be a preemptive to the people that would say, well, crypto is going to have a massive uptick in growth. Again, well, my response to that is who is going to buy the crypto at its current price to make that explosive growth? If we look back in April and May, people were selling cryptocurrencies at all time highs. Those same people are only looking to buy in when the price collapses not when the price is already relatively high. Remember, when it comes to dollars, nothing is ever free. Despite what some people will tell you, I have never personally seen someone at my local shopping center just handing out free dollars. It doesn't happen, unless of course you are Mr. Beast. I wish you could hand out everyone some free gravis cards, but then again, if he did that, he'd become Mr. Broke, not Mr. Beast. However, what is going to happen from here in? Well, you may have noticed I've been tracking one card in particular. That is the RX 6700 XT. In my opinion, it fits the bill of the value mid high range gamer perfectly. That is at its MSRP. It also isn't targeted by the mainstream gamer as say an RTX 3060 or an RTX 3060 Ti due to Nvidia having massive market share and more brand recognition than AMD in the GPU gamer space. And most importantly, its hash rates are not anywhere near as good as the RX 6800, 
which means it's not targeted by miners as much as say the RX 6800. Though expanding on that, if we were to look at the cards if they were MSRP versus the price they are at market right now, the 6800 is much higher than the 6700 XT, which does mean that miners are still buying up these graphics cards for mining, make no mistake about it. Just they are no longer buying them up in China, which means more supply for the rest of the world. Now back to the 6700 XT, it has been in ample supply for nearly a month now, just that it has been in supply at higher than MSRP prices. Though the interesting thing is, I've seen this card go down from 1300 USD to now 750 USD, that is quite the drop in price, though it is still well above that MSRP of $469 that AMD told us to expect, and in Australia, that is about 620 Aussie dollars. If you add 10% tax, we should expect to see this card come in at around 700 Aussie dollars, and while the card is still sitting at over $1000. So the solution? Just let the card sit there. We have already ascertained that production and hence supply is at an all time high for these GPUs. Crypto, although still highly profitable, at least for those not in China, does carry much more risk than at the start of the year. I mean, what if they were to ban mining in the USA, Australia, you may think that is simply just too outlandish, but never forget in 1934, they banned gold as money. I mean, how do you ban money as money? Well, if that can happen, anything is possible. Another risk for miners is that there is a massive change coming in August for Ethereum miners. That is only three weeks away. This could spell a massive drop in profitability and more graphics cards could come onto the market. In the meantime, the only video game you need to play right now is the game of patience. Though the most important thing is what's going to happen between now and that time that we get in between getting to those MSRP prices. Well, in my opinion, it's just a matter of what we're seeing right now, and that is the ripoff swarm coming through. See, GPU allocation is going to go to countries that are netting the GPU board partners and distributors the most profit. However, this effect is losing momentum very, and I mean very fast. RTX 3080 Ti's, 3090's, 3070 Ti's, every lineup of card is now in ample supply in Australia, and of course, it is in ample supply at ridiculously high prices, nearly double that of MSRP. The amount of customers willing to get ripped off as time goes on becomes less and less, and since that supply, all-time record high supply might I add, is a constant, it is only a matter of time before GPUs become much more reasonably priced. Of course, I'm predicting right around this time as well, the price floor from all crypto will just come out straight underneath it, just as quickly as price is inflated, they can deflate as well. Though lastly, in a video I made nearly two months ago, I predicted prices would come down and I got laughed at heavily in the comments section initially. Though now it seems like those that were laughing at me were probably crypto miners. And I mean, if you bought an RX 6700 XT for 1300 USD in May, and at that time you were laughing at me, then I have to raise the question, are you still laughing? Though regardless of whether you are laughing or not, I'm simply here to report on the news and then interpret it and make predictions based on what my research indicates. Whether that is good or bad, if someone held out on buying a GPU in May due to my advice and they were a gamer, then I'm personally very happy as they would have saved a lot of money by buying it now, even versus then. Though going forward, it also seems the governments are winding down the stimulus measures and credit companies are tightening, aka a credit squeeze which makes me much more confident going forward that GPU prices can only go one way, and that is down. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button for us, and also let us know in the comments section below, what do you think about current GPU prices? Are you looking forward to finally buying one as a gamer and playing some games at higher refresh rates, or are you still not gonna buy one even if there is a massive flood and prices do come down a lot? Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always, and if you stayed this far and you're enjoying that Tech Yes content, then be sure to hit that sub button, ring that bell, and you'll get the content as soon as it drops. Anyhow, I will catch you in another Tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.